this is our captain. Okay. He will be driving us uh, to Park. Safely, safely to mm -hmm. Park Bang. Six hours cruise. Should be nice and easy. Mekong River should be beautiful there. True. And we go to take some breakfast. Capitan. We're gonna share the company with these ladies. Let's see what she's doing. We have another soup. Soup? Soup. <laughs> and the good stuff is boiling here. The trip takes approximately six hours and it's a really nice and relaxing cruise. Mekong has a strong current, so the boats are moving even faster. There is a lot of traffic on the water and you can feel the racing spirit between the captains. On top of all of this, there are many obstacles and rocks on the way, so you would need to be really skilled to race in these conditions. Most of the passengers are tourists, as one ticket costs you 20 euro. It's almost a meditational ride, as there is not too much you can do, a part of observing nature and life on the river. You can have a long naps as well on not the most comfortable seats, it's almost like a full day tour and we even saw some elephants on the way. Don't forget to take some snacks as it's a long ride without stops. Usually you arrive around sunset and we would recommend to book a hotel room in advance as there are many tourists on different boats. Park bang, we are here and uh, woohoo, <laughs> yes. And I wanted to ask you what's your opinion. Usually people stop here for overnight because they arrive like at 6 and departure is 9.30. And what do you think about the guys yesterday trying to sell us good stuff? It's kind of weird because the first place we would just uh, found a lot of people selling drugs actually on the street. Like it's like 300 meters to walk and there might be like four people offer us something. Here it's very open. Yeah, they don't hide anything from you. No secrets here. Honest people. From Pak Bank, we decided to drive to Wang Vien instead of taking a boat and we are quite happy about our decision. There were really nice mountains and scenic roads. Sunny weather helped to enjoy our ride as well. Our motorcycle wasn't happy that much. We hope that this piano music and great footage will inspire you for a road trip. But remember, road trips are not only about scenic roads, nice weather and unicorns. It's also about overtaking some obstacles. Here is one of our pit stops to the mechanic. Now the reparation, Chico. We had uh, our brakes, front brakes, a bit consumed, so we changed them. Yeah, with this mount it's yeah. so easy to, to consume them. After our bones. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo. It takes a bit of time to drive to Wangvien, so we plan to split the trip in two days with an overnight stop in Zayaburi. Safety on the road is number one priority. I guess the boy is doing homework on the way to school. Sayaburi is a provincial capital. Surrounding areas are largely unpopulated due to a rough terrain that dominates by Laos' largest elephant population. Even if it's not very touristy, you can still find things to do in the area. Just the feedback driving from Pak Bang to Sayaburi is tough on the scooter because uh, the roads are... First you burn the engine and fuel and then you burn the brakes. And I burn my patience also. Hopefully now from... Uh, from Sayapuri to Wangen will be much better road. On the way we will have a standing Buddha, one waterfall and one cave. If I wouldn't miss it, you have to be keep an eye on everything. Keep an eye. You need to have a co-pilot. That's why we're like riding the same scooter. Okay, let's have a coffee and hit the road. It's the new way of traveling is we have a drone so instead of walking up and see the standing Buddha by ourselves we just flew there and after we'll see it on the footage more or less the same no so that's our tip if you see a lot of stairs you just fly step, just fly oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. 
So much negativity here. The dogs just. Yeah, we met so this aggressive. gang of dogs. And we came to this road because it was signed. Guys, guys, we are filming here, okay? I tried to lift one of the chairs. I know that they're quite heavy. I saw how they're making them. It's not that bad. Maybe no? 15 kilos. So you, you wouldn't be able to steal too many of them at the same time. So this is basically some lounge bar area. But the water is clean, huh? Yeah, surprisingly water looks clean, so they don't do laundry of the stream. But with this lively music, we decided to leave this place. And the dog sounds very sad here. We've been looking for a small waterfall here and we found it, but we're looking for a big one. Yeah, but we found a small one. Put this place also on the map. At least it's nice walk in the forest. A bit different from what we've been doing. Yeah, we've been driving for a couple of days already. Sitting all the time, huh? What are they up to? Clean bike, healthy traveling. I don't want to clean too much because after they will steal it. it looks nice and shiny. Do you think it will increase our performance on the highway? Yeah, huh? it will. Add some speed and uh, more people will be looking at us and just thinking, yeah, these guys are rolling. There are stops you are looking forward to and there are some stops you are forced to do. Due to steep roads, our engine was overheating and we needed to wait until we could restart it. I guess Chinese version of our bike is not designed for extended trips on steep plow roads. So we just stopped for 20 minutes to cool down the engine. It was an interesting sign, maybe that meant do not enter. Back on track again. Talking about the roads, from about 46,000 kilometers of Lao road network, it's estimated that only 28% are paved. In general, more than 60% of the total national roads are classified as in poor or bad conditions. Most of the provincial and district roads are inaccessible during the rain season. Impressive mountains are here. Nice to drive through. View is it? Very cool view. Yeah, really nice stuff. I think we we'll stop for coffee and after continue. See you in Gang. Okay. And now some more statistics. More than 40% of villages are six kilometers or more away from the main road. I guess it's not a bad thing, but nearly half are not accessible during the rain season. That's a problem. It's not just our bike that was suffering on the hilly roads of Laos, but trucks were having a hard time there as well, so very often you will see their rocky handbrakes left behind on the road. These rocks were a mystery for us for some time, actually. Watch out, especially if you're traveling by car. Bang Vien today. Bang Vien. We ride from Xayaburi. Uh, it's 177 kilometers. Really steep mountains. But really scenic ride. Really yes. good ones. Yes. Yes. Some roads are disaster, but the views are amazing. I hope you're enjoying my new glasses because they're night glasses for motorbike. It's five extra kilometers per hour. Yeah, so mosquitoes not hitting my eyes at night. By the way, three weeks ago we met French uh, ladies. Yeah. And they are here in Van Vien also, so they join us for cave exploration, Blue Lagoon, 
some tubing, some driving around and hope you will like everything, huh? How many kilometers we've done? 1,735 kilometers. 35 kilometers. Man. Great result for, for this uh, two weeks. Yes, and uh, we spent about 35 euro on fuel, which is, I think, really cheap. I will spend like three or four times uh, on the bus tickets and it will spend maybe like double time. So it was a great idea to buy the bike and just use it for one month or two months. Are you ready? Yes, we're ready. For your record, we spent probably the same amount for oil, maintenance and minor reparations on the bike. Our first stop was at the most popular attraction of Wang Vieng, Blue Lagoon 1. You can say even from the entrance gate that it's going to be very commercial and touristy, especially during the holiday period. It feels like today we're not travelers, but just tourists. Quite an exercise to get here on top. Maybe 150 steps, but, but, we'll but you have right. time to have some rest because there is a massive queue here. At the Blue Lagoon, you can also visit Kham Phu Kham, or Cave of the Golden Crab. There should be a few of stalactites and stalagmites, look like golden crabs, but unfortunately we didn't see any. At the beginning this uh, cave looked a bit too easy, but now it's getting deeper and more becomes interesting. more interesting, yeah. It was a bit frustrating to climb all the way and find overcrowded first chamber of the cave, but then we moved further away and our opinion changed. Maybe? I haven't a rhythm in my skin. So, <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> Don't forget to bring a torch with you, or you can rent one as well, and be ready to sweat a lot. Quite a few of tourists here. <laughs> As any cave, this is not the wild cave where you're by yourself. You're not looking for easy way, huh? No. Can you walk away and take a look at some map thing? Quite steep. <laughs> it was uh, actually nice, but very touristic. Today is. Happy New Year, and it's uh, it's Saturday. Maybe, maybe that's the reason. Maybe yeah. that's the reason. I felt like I was flying. I'm really, oh, just beautiful. <laughs> Lifetime experience. <laughs> so the plan of action will be is to go to the east from Van Bing. Do the nice loop in and the middle of the mountains in the valley. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go then. Villagers from Ban Naduan are the traditional owners of the site and have constructed the path, small bridges and other facilities and maintaining them. That's why you have to pay a small entrance fee. From the distance, this waterfall doesn't look that nice. But from here, it's beautiful, yeah, interesting. Like, not that much water, but it's just flowing really nicely and the camera is going to be wet. It doesn't seem like, but this waterfall is very powerful in the wet season but can change to a trickle in the driest month of April and May. And how much does it cost? Or donation? Depend on you. Huh. Mm -hmm. 1,000 give, 2,500. This? Yeah. Mm. Most of my elders say, First money, <laughs> the truth. The more you pay, the more truth they should tell. And the more beautiful it will be. It's sad that I cannot understand what's written here. Can you translate for us? Uh, you will be rich in your future and in your future you will have everything you want. Mm -hmm. It's something like this. <laughs> I, I cannot translate one. No, one nothing one. bad, no? No, no, no. If I pay, they make they make sure that this is <laughs> nice thing. Let's see what he's doing. Thank you. Have time. Something good for New Year. For next year. A lot of luck. Love, happiness, money, everything okay. actually. So we're going to have a grilled chicken with some rice here in the in this bungalow. 
Yeah. I'm lazy to remove shoes, but it's all right. Beautiful view, just right on the river, on the top of it. Okay, we're going to the thing to uh, I hope it will be fun and uh, interesting. Yeah? As you can see, tubing is much more relaxing experience nowadays than it used to be even 10 years ago. Everything changed because of too many fatalities related to alcohol and drug abuse in the past. We have a couple of frogs here on the river. So we don't feel lonely here. Yeah. Yeah, but the tubing was alright, just slow, meditational, yeah, relaxing. Just, I wouldn't but do it again. The sun was missing. Yeah, yeah maybe if the sun was here, it would be a different story, huh? The guy is very <laughs> ready for the happy and for the party. Yeah. The party is over for someone. Are you Team Korea? How is that atmosphere here? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. If you feel this New Year's atmosphere everywhere. Meow, meow. Everyone is meowing. Oh, really? Yeah. And we have this thing, it's ready to fly. It's supposed to be my Halloween hat, but no. It's not. Try to spin it up and down slowly. It's like flying a drone, but it should be a bit simpler, but it's not actually. Go! Go, baby, go! All together. <laughs> Guys, come on! Go, yeah! <laughs> I hope it's not gonna burn the house. Go, little boy, go! go. <laughs> yeah! Uh, that was the, that wasn't that nice. I was I was I was worried that it would just burn the house and we will just be guilty. Of that. I was under pressure. Maybe Jesus. ten people stopped to see us. Sadly, the year is officially over, but luckily, new year with new opportunities and new adventures just arrived. And what can be a better place and crowd to celebrate it? You want to make me drink? Happy New Year!